This is vlog 6 which is on coaching process. In this vlog I'm going to evaluate a certain behaviour I adopt during a coaching session. I've recorded a team coaching session where I have a variety of injured and non-injured athletes all with different specific goals. <laughs> This is a quick overview of my vlog. I'm going to look at a certain behaviour I need to improve on when I'm coaching. I'll then review this behaviour. I'll then look at ways I can improve this and then I'll provide a summary. In this clip you can see that I turn my back to my athlete whilst he is performing his lift. This could be a problem as I am not ensuring he is doing the correct technique, which could be detrimental for two reasons. It could be dangerous as the athlete may get injured and the athlete may not be able to get an optimum training response from the exercise. As you can see I do this on several occasions. This is a coaching model. It shows that following a session, I need to review the session. This allows me to plan for my next session, so I can ensure I'm providing an environment which creates the best training response. I'm going to review my behaviour by using three questions. What, when and why. What do I do? I'm physically turning my back to my athlete, so I'm not observing him. When do I do it? I do this when I'm looking to see what another athlete is doing. Why do I do it? If I'm being completely honest, I think it could be for a variety of reasons, such as the gym layout, the programming and my gym management. I think it's hard to ensure I'm 100% focused at all times on all athletes with individual programs and training goals. But I definitely think there are ways that I can improve things to avoid me having to have my back turned to an athlete at any time. Now I've looked at what, when and why I've adopted this behaviour, I need to look at what ways I can improve this behaviour for future sessions. The first key improvement I could do is gym management. I could pair up my athletes with similar exercises or derivatives so I could watch them all at the same time. For example, if I had all my athletes squatting, I could watch them on two racks at the same time whilst they take it in turn and even coach each other or squat each other. Another key element I could look to improve on is the way the gym is laid out. As you can see, it is in a cramped space and I don't think I'm using the space efficiently. Possibly having less equipment and an open area would allow the athletes to work closer together despite working on different exercises. This would allow me to view the group as a whole. Although this is possibly something out of my hands as the gym belongs to the club, However, I could still look to be efficient and lay out specific stations where athletes could be grouped closer together, so I'd never be turning my back to any athlete. This is the plan, do and review process. I've now watched my sessions back and reviewed a certain behaviour. I've named suggestions for things that I could improve on. Now I have to look to see how I can plan these improvements, allowing me to carry them out. And then the cycle starts again. Overall, I've looked at my behaviour of when I turn my back to my athletes. This could be due to a variety of reasons, such as the gym layout, the individual programmes and gym management. On reflection, I think it's clear that I need to ensure that I programme my athletes to be on similar exercises, perhaps spotting each other, which could also aid their learning. I also need to ensure the gym is laid out in an appropriate manner and set up ready for the session I'm about to deliver. These are all things that I will take forward when coaching in the future and again will look to review the outcome. Thanks for watching.